It has been just over a year since my first Pokemon in real life video, so I thought, why not update it? I found 151 new images for Pokemon in real life, so let's get into it. Starting with Bulbasaur, which looks pretty cool, actually. I don't mind this at all. I really like the scales and the detail in it. Ivysaur looks very intense, though. I love the massive fangs that it's got on it. It definitely changes the vibe for Ivysaur with those. Venusaur's not too bad. I do like the scales again on it. Makes it look definitely like a dinosaur. Charmander looks very cute. Very sleek in his design. Very skinny now, but very, very cute. Chameleon looking more like a dinosaur now, which is pretty cool. It's got a very angry looking face. Charizard looks very nice. Very, very cool. Definitely giving me the feel of Daenerys with her dragons. I guess out in the field with the background here. Squirtle's kind of an interesting take though. Squirtle's my favorite Pokemon because he's very cute, but this one doesn't look so cute. He's got sharp claws, so a bit of a different look here. Wartortle definitely looking kind of different as well. The ears are kind of like goblin ears now, which changes it completely, I think. Last Toys looking like a giant turtle. I love this. I love that he's under the water and he's swimming and stuff. Got really big claws. it has got like that snapping turtle kind of face as well. Actually based off a real caterpillar called the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. And this is what it looks like. That is so cool. It looks exactly like a caterpie. Metapod not looking too bad. Looking like a chrysalis. What else can you do? Butterfree is a bit of an interesting look though. That is very fluffy. And is that teeth or a tongue, maybe? Weedle is very gross. Very hairy. Not a fan of that one. Kakuna looks pretty cool, though. I do love the eyes. Definitely makes it look kind of evil. Beedrill looks very nice. I like that a lot. That looks very scary. I love that they've changed the stinger. Instead of being kind of rounder, I guess, and bigger. It's just like a needle, which is very, very nice. More like a bee or a wasp. Pidgey looking very realistic with the details in the, the fluffy feathers there. Pidgeotto, I'm not quite sure about that one, but doesn't look too bad. I don't know why its eyes are bright blue there. That changes it a lot. Pidgeot looking not too bad. Pidgeot's crest on its head is huge. That's really, really long. It's much longer than the entire body, but that looks kind of nice. Rattata looks very cool. I love the detail in that. It looks just like a big rat, but it looks very very good with all the detail put in there. And I love the background, how it's kind of like in the city as well. Whoa, what have they done to eradicate? Ugh. That's not what I was expecting. The teeth, the drool, the lips. I'm not a fan of that one. That is pretty gross. Spiro not looking too bad. Looks pretty accurate, actually. So I like that. The beak is definitely like a very eagle hawk kind of beak. Very, very big for its face. Firo, not too bad. Not too bad. Got that long beak. Ekans looks pretty cool as well. The fangs almost look small for its head. I'm not sure. Arbok looks very cool. Definitely looking like a cobra. It looks quite thick, actually, but I guess... Arbok is already kind of thick, so that makes sense. The Pikachu looks insane. I love that. That looks so cool. Looks so angry and it's got the electricity coming off it. It's nice and fluffy as well. That looks really cool. I love that. Raichu looks pretty cool too. I don't mind it on all fours, which is interesting. Sandshrew, obviously based off a pangolin. So that's what a pangolin looks like, which is very much like a Sandshrew, except pangolins have very, very long tails. That's the only difference. Looks pretty cool. It doesn't look spiky so much now. The parts coming off it are definitely armored, not so much spiky, which is nice though. Neuter and Fima, I'm not sure what that's meant to be. It's kind of like a bunny, I suppose. It's got the bunny ears. Don't know about that though. Nidorina, maybe like a pig, I think. It's kind of fluffy, not so much scaly or spiky. Well, Nido Queen is not what I expected. That's like a whole combination of different animals. Got like the rhino horn, the teeth are all kinds of janky, but it's got scales on its shoulders and hands and knees as well. Nido and Mayo looks very nice. I do like that a lot. I like the horn on it as well. Nido Reno, pretty cool. Getting a couple more teeth. The spikes look really cool. I like that. Nido King though is very different. Okay, bit more of an uglier kind of look now, but the spikes are the back almost looks like prickles, like a porcupine or something. It's got a massive horn, which I do like, and it's got the big teeth as well, which is cool. Clefairy looks very fluffy. I'm not sure what's happened there. It looks like a giant fluff ball, maybe more like a jigglypuff. I'm not sure. Clefable's kind of cute. Kind of looks like a bunny, I think, but it does follow what Clefay would look like, so that's not bad. Volpix looks very cool, though. I think the best part is the fire that's in the mouth. Ninetales looks very good as well. It's very elegant. I think it's just the pose that it's in. Looks like a wolf more than a fox, I would say. 
say, but looks very, very cool. All right, here's our Jigglypuff, which does look very fluffy, but I don't know about that. The eyes are big, which is what it should be, but it still just kind of looks a little bit weird. Maybe it's the nose or the mouth. I don't know. Something just looks off there, but I do love that it's holding the marker like in the anime. Wigglytuff is very different. It's got a little bow, which is cute. It almost looks like it should be in an Easter parade or something. Looks like a big bunny. Zubat out of here looking like a bat. That's what it should. I like it's got the fangs and the coloring is the same, which is good. Golbat. Wow, look at the mouth on that Golbat. That is huge. I love that. I love that they've made most of the Golbat is within the mouth, which is what it should be. Oh, I'm not quite sure about the oddish there. That looks a little bit weird. The detail in the leaves are nice, but the body is a bit weird. Okay, that's even worse. Oddish looks very good now compared to Gloom. That is disgusting. I hate that. Violet Plume. Okay, that's kind of interesting that the white spots on it are now like bumps in it. So it's textured, but the face is the exact same. Paris is very interesting. That's like definitely looking like a bug, but it's got the mushrooms growing on it. You can see like the roots of the mushrooms as well. It looks quite different to Paris, but also quite similar at the same time. Parasect is very creepy. What's with all that white stuff? Is that the spores on it? That is very creepy. That face and those eyes. I guess Parasect doesn't have eyeballs. It does have creepy eyes. Venonat looks very, very fluffy. Pretty cute, actually. Venomoth, it almost looks small, actually, being on a twig like this, but it does look pretty cool. Diglett looking very cool. Looking like a mole. You can actually see its claws, so that's cool, but looks very fluffy. The tree, on the other hand, is very scary. That's not so cute and fluffy anymore. Meowth looks pretty cool, though. It looks very elegant, actually, which is very nice. The nose is kind of weird, but I guess Meowth doesn't even have a nose, so I guess that works. It almost looks like a ragdoll cat. Persian looks like maybe like a puma now, actually, which is very cool. I like that. It looks really muscly. Psyduck is very cool. Oh, I love that it's got the same expression holding its head. That is perfect. Definitely looks a lot like a duck with the bill and stuff like that. Gold duck actually looks more like a dinosaur. It's like that dinosaur that's in between like raptors to chickens. It's like that middle evolution. What is that manky? Oh my god, the teeth, the eyes. It's like a small ball of anger, which I guess Mankey is, so that makes sense. Okay, Primeape is very different to what I expect. It looks very muscly, but the expression doesn't really match a Primeape, but it does look very cool. I do like that. Growlithe looks pretty cute. I do love that. Looks pretty cool. Arcanine is kind of different, though. Arcanine looking a lot more like a tiger, I think. The wisps in the hair and everything, the giant fangs looks very cool, very detailed. Poliwag is interesting, though. You know, I did some research on this, and tadpoles' intestines, sometimes you can actually see them through the skin and this is what it looks like it's in like a swirl which gives polywag its look so that's exactly what tadpoles look like which is really interesting polywell same kind of thing you can see the intestines in the middle there looks kind of derpy actually but definitely looks very much like a frog which is cool it hasn't really got the boxing gloves on it it's got more like fingers, but I do like that. Whereas Polyrath has definitely got the gloves. Definitely looks very grumpy, but wow, he looks muscly. Abra looks very cool, actually. That's almost like a fox kind of look, but the claws and the tail are very different. Almost look armored. Kadabra looks very cool. That's giving me Master Splinter vibes from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's what he looks like, I think, especially like the beard. Alakazam looks intense, though. I love the Alakazam. The purple eyes really, really makes it. It gives it a really cool look look. Before we get to the next Pokemon, you've come this far into the video, so you must kind of like it. So make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content. Thanks. A chop? Kind of interesting. I think it's meant to be like a monkey, but it's got like a pig nose for some reason. Machoke, definitely a big gorilla here. That is very cool. I love the massive teeth that it has. Although Machamp, okay, no more monkeys. Now it's more like a lizard or a dinosaur, maybe. It doesn't even look as muscly as you would think. Bellsprout's pretty cool, though. I do like that. I like the roots and the detail in, like, the trunk of it, which is cool. Weeping Bell, based on a pitcher plant, which is a real thing. It's got spikes on it as well, which is interesting, but that's pretty cool. It's got a butterfree there as well. Oh, Victory Bell. Oh, that's kind of gross. I'm not sure about that. All the saliva and the fur on all the leaves. It's got lots of spikes along that, almost like the tail bit as well, which is interesting. Tentacool looks pretty nice. I do like that. I like the detail in it, in the water. Tentacool is interesting though. Almost giving like a Kraken kind of vibe. The big spiky bit on the front is much, much smaller though. I wish that was a little bit bigger. Geodude looking like a rock with arms. What else can you do? Graveler. Oh, wow. It's got some teeth on that Graveler. 
I wasn't expecting that. Looks very armored though, which is nice. Golem almost looks like it's got a snake or a lizard head actually, which is kind of nice. And the claws are massive. Ponyta looking like a fire horse. What else can you do? Rapidash, same thing, just the bigger version, but it's got the unicorn horn on it as well, but that looks really, really nice. Slowpoke, oh, that's so cute. Look at all the different expressions. That looks really cute. Oh, Slowbro is so good though. Oh, I love that. That's like a hippo. And we've even got the Slowpoke, who's like a baby hippo. Oh, it looks so cute and peaceful. I love that. That's really cool. Magnemite looks pretty cool. Cool too. Lots of detail. You can see the electricity coming on it too, which is nice. It looks like it's picking up a tin can as well with the electricity, which is cool. Magneton. All right. Kind of similar vibe. Farfetch looking like a duck, but it's got a leak, of course. Not bad. The duo looks very cool. I love the detail on this. Looks almost fluffy in its feathers, but the detail is very, very cool. I love the feet. The feet have got like that scaly look on them. The Drio is kind of interesting though. Oh, I love how they've given the personality to each of the three heads. There's like a crazy or silly one. There's an angry one and there's a bit more of a, a timid, scared one. So, oh, got the personalities. Seal looks like a seal in real life. Very fluffy, very cute. A baby seal. Dugong looks pretty cool. It definitely looks more like a sea lion now, but it's got that horn. It looks pretty good. Wow, Grimer looks pretty gross, actually. It looks kind of evil. Looks like he's hanging out in an alleyway as well. Yup, Mark, though. All right, that looks very spooky. That almost looks like the stink spirit from Spirits in a Way. Shelter, okay. Wow, we can't really see what's going in there. There's a few details on the Inside is shelter. Not that we can really see what shelter is anyway. Cloyster. Okay. It doesn't really have a face. It maybe has a tiny face there in like the pearl bit in the middle. But look at that spike. That looks very, very dangerous. Ghastly looks very creepy. Oh my God. That's really scary. Look at the teeth as well. And there's like black ooze coming from the teeth. Horns are pretty cool as well. I like how they did the teeth because they're not really teeth. It's kind of like the jaw is spiky. Ganga looks very creepy as well. Very, very creepy. It's weird how it's got fangs, but like human teeth. All of the ghosts. Nice. Perfect. Very, very creepy. Very scary. Onyx looking definitely like a snake, but I do love the horn that it's got on its head. Drowsy looks very, very creepy as it should, I think. Very creepy. Hypno is very interesting. That's a completely different look. It almost looks like Smeagol with the ring, how it's holding up the thing that it hypnotizes you with. It's got very long fingers and toes as well. Crabby looking like a crab. I do like that a lot though. Very, very detailed. King, oh my God, that is intense. That's like really spiky and sharp. But look at the pincers. The pincers have teeth in them. That gives a completely different look to Kingler, I think. Voltorb looking like an angry ball of electricity. About right. But Electrode is very different. That's come out of a ball. It almost looks like a buckle gun, how it's come out and looks like maybe a crab. Execute looking not too bad. I mean, they're only eggs. What can you do? But this is very, very detailed, which is very cool. I love the cracks in it. Executor is kind of a different look. They've given it hands and arms for some reason, which has changed it completely. It makes it look like a dinosaur now, almost like a T-Rex. Cubone is very, very cute. It looks like a dinosaur. I love it's got little spikes on the back as well and it's holding its bone. Marowak kind of looks like a dinosaur again, especially with the hands and the feet. And it's got spikes on its back as well, which is interesting. Hitmonlee. Oh, that's kind of weird. It's such a weird Pokemon without a mouth. The legs definitely look like they can expand and contract, but look kind of creepy as well. I'm not sure. Hitmonchan looks kind of cool. Not bad. Definitely looks realistic. It looks like it's fighting a Hitmonlee as well, actually. Lickitung. That is so cool. Looks like a giant lizard. It's eating a Nidoran as well. That is intense. Doesn't look so derpy and silly now. Looks like a predator of some kind. Coughing is very creepy. Why did they give it teeth? Like, coughing has fangs, but not teeth like that. Wheezing, though, looks very cool. Oh, I love that. It looks so angry, and it's got, like, the eyes are intense, and the teeth, and the big tusk. Like, it's got the teeth on wheezing, but now they've become giant tusks. Rhyhorn looks very cool. Looks like a rhino out on the savannah. Rhydon is very different, though. That looks really cool. I wish it had bigger eyes, but I do love the teeth and the tusk that it has as well. The spikes, the horn, the claws, they are all really, really cool. Chansey's kind of an interesting look. I don't know about that. It looks like it's meant to be a bird, and it's got the feathers on, which give us the head shape that Chansey has, which is kind of interesting. Although I do like that they've incorporated the egg like Chansey does, so the more I look at it, the more I think I like this depiction of it. It's very interesting, very unique. I like that. <gasps> Tangler is so cute. Oh my God, it looks like a little bear. And it's all like covered in leaves. Oh, that's very cute. I love that they gave it a face. I like that a lot. Kangaskhan's kind of interesting. Greetings from the Safari Zone. I love that. It's like a postcard. Horsey, okay. Looking like a seahorse, I suppose, but it follows it quite well. Seedra's a bit more intense now. I don't mind that at all. It almost looks like he's got scales in a way, especially on the stomach there. 
Goldeen. Oh, okay, Goldeen. I was not gonna think it was much of, of anything, like a, a goldfish. But this looks very cool. It's got the expression. The eyes are cool. It's got the horn. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. Seeking kind of a bit more derpy now. The lips are giant. Why do we have to do that with the lips? But the rest of it follows it pretty well. It looks a bit more like a goldfish, I think, here, especially in the shape of the body. Staryu looks really nice. Staryu seems like such an ordinary kind of Pokemon. But this looks so cool. I think the red light glowing is what makes it. That's really nice. Starmie again, looking like a starfish, but a bit more jelly-like, I think, in the arms. Mr. Mime looks very cool, actually. I like that a lot. Mr. Mime, no, nobody likes Mr. Mime, but that depiction looks very nice. I think the eyes make it look a lot more friendly. Scyther is intense, though. Look at those teeth. Does Scyther normally have teeth? And the blades and the expression... Not so intense here. Jinx looks like E.T. when it's dressed up in the wig and stuff like that. Oh, what have they done to Electabuzz? Oh my god, I've never seen like a bear cross tiger look so derpy. Poor thing. Magmar is interesting though. What animal is that meant to be based off? It's kind of got like a duck bill, kind of. But almost like a dinosaur. It's almost got like fiery coals in its hair. Pinsa! Oh my god, that is so creepy. Look at the spikes on the mandibles and the teeth. Whoa. Tauros looking like a bull. What else can you do? Magikarp, not too bad considering it's just a fish. Gyarados looked very cool as well. I love that it's stormy in the background. That sets the vibe for it a lot. Lapras looks very nice. Compare the background of Gyarados and Lapras. This is like a tropical island holiday with a Lapras, a much nicer Pokemon. Oh, I love that. I love the moss that's on the shell as well. <gasps> What have they done to Ditto? Oh my god, you can see right through it. You can see all its veins and its heart. Oh my god, that's kind of gross and squishy. <laughs> Eevee's kind of interesting. Not as cute as I hoped, but it's giving the vibe of like, is it a cat? Is it a dog? Is it a fox? That kind of fits Eevee though. Vaporeon looks kind of cool though. I like that the frill is kind of put back a little bit. It almost looks like it's just been swimming. Jolteon looks more like a porcupine, I think, with those spikes. Flareon looks very cool though. The whole thing is just fire. That looks really nice. Porygon's kind of cool, actually. It's cool that it's, like, levitating by electricity. And I love the detail in, like, the chipped paint on it as well. Ammonite, based on something in real life called an Ammonite. We've got our real-life depiction already. Star looks very cool, though. I love the eyes on it. It gives such an intense kind of vibe. And it's in the dark depths of the ocean as well. Kabuto, another one that we've already got based off something in real life, which is a horseshoe crab. So that's what it looks like. Kabuto's pretty cool, too. I don't mind that at all. Very detailed again. Aerodactyl, looking like a dinosaur so as it should, but I'm glad we've got the color scheme. The tail is the same as well, so that looks pretty cool. <gasps> I love the Snorlax! Oh my god, I love that it didn't just go like a really derpy, silly kind of vibe for Snorlax, and they made it look like an animal. It looks like a giant bear that's hibernating. That is really cool. I love how articulate that is. Okay, we're going to the legendaries now. Articuno, very cool, looking very feathery, kind of fluffy in the body as well. Zapdos is very intense though. Look at the storm that that's created. And I think, is that Spark from Pokemon Go? The instinct leader? Okay, that was definitely Spark. That looks like Candela, the Team Valor leader. The Moltres is sick. That's just a giant ball of flame. And I love the fire in the eyes as well. Dratini looking pretty cool. Looking like a sea snake actually with the scales and the eyes. It's got the little horn too. Dragonite, not so much of a sea snake now. It's definitely getting much bigger. And Dragonite looks very nice. I like that a lot. Definitely looking like a a big dragon. Hasn't got the belly that Dragonite normally has, but still has that friendly kind of look to it. I think it's the eyes. You two now look pretty cool. Definitely looks like an alien, I think. Interesting that it's got like ridges along the tail. Very skinny and skeletal like. Definitely got an alien face. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, I love the Mew! That is so cute! Oh, I love it. I do love my cats. And that is very, very cute. Oh, I love it. It looks kind of sad though, but that is so cute. What an amazing series this is. I think my favorites in this video were Pikachu, Slowbro, Snorlax, and Mew. Comment down below what your favorites were too. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content. And you could also check out my Pokemon in Real Life series playlist up there. If you want to check out some new fake Pokemon, check out this series here. Thank Thanks, guys.